Hello everybody. Um, today uh, I've uh, climbed on a little uh, ladder over here and uh, I'm at one of my solar nodes. This one over here, it's actually a Linux solar node that um, is running outside a shed over here. And it has a uh, self-built a directional antenna on there and if I can get that there it is self-built directional antenna so um, this antenna and um, I'll show the difference between that antenna and uh, the the original antenna that was there to a uh, node a few miles down the road here and I'll show the difference before and after this antenna and it's actually quite quite a lot it made a huge improvement so um, down the bottom of this node we can see uh, uh, quite a few um, you know air vents there's a inlet and an outlet vent and then a power running into it now this node itself has a uh, two of these um, solar panels on top and I'll show you now what they for they're really there for driving the fans and uh, you would say but where is the solar part then um, the solar part is really I have on this roof there they are they have some solar panels that I can um, uh, uh, use to actually uh, charge some batteries so um, this guy actually then runs off um, a USB cable into the, the enclosure and if I open this let me open that for you you can see inside that it is a um, you know a Linux based uh, a node with a uh, hat and here's actually the USB cable and that's the antenna cable coming in so this is a, a very nice uh, Linux hat that it has on there I have a video that shows that there you can see the, the cable there you can see the cave the power cable the USB cable and it plugs into the, the um, Raspberry Pi and you can also see the antenna cable then um, these two little solar panels on the front and this is the back side of them is the front of them and um, they really just uh, uh, there to um, provide power to the little fans and um, inside this housing there is a, uh, a intake fan and here's the outlet fan so when the sun shines these two fans starts working see if I can get you a, a top-down shot from there there we go there's the, the intake and there's the outlet and there's a 3D printed part here which I'll go show you on the computer now. Uh, there we go. It's hard when you're up on a on something like this. There we go. It closes. Um, it is mounted to the back here just with cable ties and um, some cable tie uh, holders over there. So very nice. Um, but let me go show you on the PC what it looks like. Okay, so uh, this is what it looks like on the PC. I'm in uh, Tinkercad over here and here are the three parts that I designed for this little project. You will uh, see this purple one that goes at the bottom of uh, the, the setup. And um, let me turn it around there quickly. And you can see that it has holes for um, the fan, the uh, two fans, and power. Um, you can see the big one is for the extraction fan. Um, and on the side, it has these fins that disperses the air. And uh, then it's got um, the little one is for the intake. And if you turn it around, you will see that, you know, these fins behind there, there's little holes that uh, the air can come out sideways. Uh, you'll see behind the fins there, that's where the air actually comes out. So um, 
looking at this, uh, um, again, uh, this is the fins, so if water drops from the top, it uh, will not, uh, you know, go into a unit. Um, and for the power, that's also pretty deep, the USB plug. And then I've got these two little ones for um, connecting or, or fastening the, the fan. So uh, that's the bottom unit over there that um, uh, works. And you can actually, look, you can see the holes over there where the air goes out sideways. So it pulls it into this unit from the, uh, the enclosure and then blows it out the side. Uh, fairly simple. So um, if we look at these two, um, you can see this is where the Raspberry Pi would fit. The, you know, that would bolt onto these four um, uh, um, stand-ups over here. And um, then um, you can also then see that, um, you know, uh, this extends to the bottom. And um, then this one, this is the one that sort of um, uh, fits on top of it. I had to print it in two parts. Oops. Okay, so it sort of goes over there on top of uh, the unit, uh, on top of each other, and uh, just use some glue to glue it together. There you can actually see the little hole for the uh, USB to the Raspberry Pi. So um, the idea really here is it forms this tunnel over here um, where the air gets sucked in. So the air is sucked in on this, in this tunnel, and it's completely sealed with the inlet fan and then goes over the USB, uh, uh, over the uh, Raspberry Pi and the hat between them and it then is sucked out the bottom. So um, if I put all of this together, let me see if I can put this one over here. Let me uh, just turn it around. There we go. Something like that. And then put it on its end. There we go. So that's sort of how the whole thing fits together. Of course, inside, you know, around it is the case. But there you can see the fins for the inlet. Um, and um, so the air comes through there. And there you can see the, uh, where the inlet fan would be. The air comes over this, through there, through that tunnel. It's sucked over the Raspberry Pi and the hat and is sucked out by the outlet over here um, and is dispersed on the side. So that's sort of the whole thing uh, together. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, you know, uh, this, these parts, uh, is fairly easy to design them here in uh, Tinkercad. But uh, that's what we have. So uh, thanks for watching.